It's a day Texas fans have been waiting for since the news was announced three years ago. The Longhorns welcomed into the SEC at Media Days today. Garrett Sanders was in Dallas and has more. For the first time, the Texas Longhorns took part in SEC Media Days as the Horns get ready to enter the best conference in college football. The Horns are coming off their best season in more than a decade with a Big 12 championship under their belt and a deep roster many believe should be able to compete for a conference title and beyond. There aren't any off weeks. You, you're going against the elite coaches in America. You're going against the elite players in America. More players drafted out of the SEC to the NFL draft year after year after year after year after year. It also helps to have a veteran quarterback returning. Quinn Ewers enters this season once again in the Heisman conversation and looks forward to the week-to-week -week SEC gauntlet. There's definitely a lot of pressure that comes with playing quarterback at the University of Texas for sure. Um, but I couldn't be more blessed and excited for the opportunity that, I, that I've been granted uh, from the good Lord above and, and the platform that he has given me. And um, I'm just, just excited for year three. There's nothing like playing college football. It's the greatest sport in the world. And I, I know we're going through all sorts of different changes right now, but the, the popularity and the excitement around college football right now is bigger and better than it's ever been. While conference realignment has destroyed some rivalries across the country, Texas not only keeps OU, but they add Arkansas and Texas A&M. But when it comes to the Longhorns, everyone is looking to take the burnt orange down just a peg. Texas believes they're ready for this SEC challenge. From SEC Media Days in Dallas, I'm Garrett Sanders. Thanks, Garrett. Now, Texas will play its first SEC conference game on Saturday, September 28th, when they play host to Mississippi State. That's down at DKR Memorial Stadium there in Austin.